In this video, we are going to cover how to set up our API clients and the different ways to push data to an Algolia index, either directly from the code, from a JSON file, or from a database. Let's get started. The first step to set up the API clients is to install the Algolia search package with the package manager. Then we create an instance of the client with the app ID and API key of the account you want to use. These informations are available on your Algolia dashboard. We need an API key with write access to the index you want to push data to. With that client variable set up, we can now initialize the index where we want to upload our data to with the initIndex method. Here we simply need to provide the name of the index we want to target. If the index doesn't exist yet, it will be automatically created. Now that our client is ready, let's use it to push some data. The fastest way to do that is directly from the script. We'll simply create an array in our code where we'll add two very basic objects containing a string and a numeric value. Now we can call the addObjects method passing in the actors array. We save and run the script. Let's head over to the dashboard. We can see that both actors are there. Pushing data directly from our code is a fun and fast way to play with the API, but it's not manageable for larger amounts of data. A more realistic approach would be to push some data we have on a local JSON file. Here we have a simple JSON file containing 500 actors objects. Each object has a name, a rating, an image path for their picture, an alternative name, and an ID. Now let's load the local actors.json file and assign its content to the actors variable. The final step here is to call the index method addObjects, passing in the actors array as its argument. We run the script. And now let's go to the dashboard to check if everything is there. We can see that our index is now populated with the 500 actors records and all their attributes. Another common use case would be to push some data from a database. Here we'll use MySQL as an example. On a MySQL server running locally, we have previously created an actors table containing 500 rows. The columns are mirroring our attributes from our previous example, name, rating, image path, alternative name, and ID. Now we need to connect the MySQL server. Here we'll use the MySQL package. Providing the host, user, password, and database we want to target. Preparing the query. Select star from actors underscore SML. Then we simply call the addobjects method passing in the records fetched from our database.
heading back to the dashboard and refreshing the index, we can see that our 500 actors are there. When dealing with a larger number of records, it is recommended to split those into batches of 1000 to 10,000 depending on the record size. Let's switch tables in our database from actors underscore SML to actors underscore big. The records are similar, except this time we don't have 500, but 50,000 rows to push. Now let's create a new array that will hold the smaller arrays of 1000 records each. We then iterate over this array of arrays and call the addObject method each time, sending chunks of 1000 records. Back to the Algolia dashboard, I can now refresh the index and check that all the 50,000 actors are already there. We've seen how straightforward it is to set up an API client and get some data loaded to an Algolia index, either from the code, from a local file, or from a database. In the next video, we will explore the different methods to keep our data in sync with Algolia. Thanks for watching.